Yeah. And not everyone, like, we're all different, right? We all handle the way we feel, our resentment, our jealousy. It's all different. So it's like, it's weird that we're painting an entire league with one brush. And the Angel Reese of it all is a big part as well. And she obviously was seen cheering the hard foul and then since then has also come out and said some more. So here's Angel. I think so many people are watching women's basketball right now. Yeah. It all started from the national championship game, and I've been dealing with this for two years now. And understanding, like, yeah, negative things have probably been said about me, but honestly, I'll take that because look where women's basketball is. People are talking about women's basketball that you never would think that we'd be talking about women's basketball. People are pulling up to games. we got celebrities coming to games, sold-out arenas, like, just because of one single game. And just looking at that, like, I'll take that role. I'll take the bad guy role, and I'll continue to take that on and be that for, the, for my teammates. And if I want to be that, and I know I'll go down to history, I'll look back in 20 years and be like, yeah, the reason why we watch watching women's basketball is not just because of one person. It's because of me, too, and I want y'all to realize that. Like, it's not just because of one person. A lot of us have done so much for this game, and Kennedy has been here before, obviously, but there are so many great players in this league that have deserved this for a really, really long time, and luckily, it's coming now. Love that. And so here's it, where the resentment <laughs> comes in, right? Because I saw this video last night, and immediately the comments were like, she's delusional, no one's coming for Angel Reese, it's all about one person. And then you realize, this is just a big, ugly monster, and it's just a part of sort of having a, a talent like this be a focal point. And personally, I guarantee you Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark are fine personally. The media and the narrative that they've built around her in this way that she's untouchable and how she's the superstar, I think that naturally sinks into her head and that causes this <clears throat> animosity, this jealousy, whatever the word you want to use. By the way, that causes no, no. the hate towards that. I'm saying, no. it's not. I don't think it's anything that she said What if they did don't like each other? Who cares? Floor. And if they Listen, do, fine. Like I said, what, it's okay on the men's side. Draymond Green yeah, can hate you don't like Draymond everybody. Green can hate Rudy Gobert. Listen. Why can't they just hate each other? She just they said can. it. She's okay with being, a, it, there's a role for everybody. She's yeah. saying, I'm going to wear the villain hat and I wear it proudly. Like, Draymond wears the villain hat. Pat Bev wears the villain True. hat. Bobby Portis wears <laughs> the villain hat. See, but Bobby is very likable. I was going to say, but he's show. like very nice. Yeah, Bobby is very likable. Yeah, friend of the show. But those are guys that wear that hat proudly, and that's what they bring to the table. That's the, that's the entertainment part of what we do. That's the WWE part of what we do. <laughs> they are creating their own storylines. So it's okay for her to say, y'all want to make me to be the bad guy? I can't yeah. wait to be the bad guy. And that's okay. When she come out, boo her. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah. She's okay with that. It doesn't have to be a person thing. Accept these people for who they are inside the lines when they compete. That's who their characters are. And I do. This is who she is. And I do. They're not showing any remorse. They're liking I tweets. Love it. Yeah, they're, yeah. That's I okay. Love it. That, that is part Kennedy of the Carter game. Kennedy Carter said, I'm standing on business. Do I we? said what I said. I did she what I did. She said I'm, the only thing Kaylin Clark does is just shoot threes, which is, I she think, that's she that. lost me. She lost me on that. But, but that's, whole, you know what, Chandler? That is, a, that is a basketball opinion. And we can look at this camera and say, Kennedy Clark, you lost your goddamn You're driven. <laughs> the basketball game, Caitlin like, Clark. Like, that lady can play. Like, yeah, she Caitlin can Clark can absolutely play. But my point is, her going on social media and liking the tweets Kennedy and clapping Carter, yeah. back, that's okay. That is, that is healthy. That is good. It's as healthy. long as it stays, as long as he's not, like, taking her legs out and, you know, trying to hurt her on the basketball court, that is perfectly healthy, good, competitive spirit of the game. That is okay. It I happens have a in our league. It ha let it happen in their league. It doesn't have to be different because they're girls. How much? Well, there, so that's part of my question. I'm wondering... How many people, no and we know girls, how many. Bro. Yeah, women. Young ladies and women. Women. It, it, yeah, it's, it started up yesterday with, with, the, with the girls thing, and I respect it, so we gonna respect it. It's like, it. A, it's okay. like well, so here's the thing. So many people, admittedly, are watching WNBA for the very, very first time. Maybe this is the first time they've watched women play professional sports, period. And I'm wondering how much of this sort of vibe, this weird need to defend Caitlin Clark's honor, is because people aren't used to watching women compete the way they compete in the WNBA. It's not your fault if you're yeah. brand new to it. I'm, <clears throat> I'm new to it, admittedly. But I also know that women compete just as hard as anyone, and so I'm not shocked by anything that's happened this week. I'm more surprised by the reaction of people that, oh, yeah. God, they, they play so hard. They're, they're, yeah. they're beating each other that's up. They're so offensive. mean. That's like, what's more offensive. They, that, that, I think, is shocking. Way. Right. They, listen, it's going to take some getting used to. So for all the new fans, welcome to the party. <laughs> it gets a little physical from time to time. <laughs> It is a competitive game. It's basketball. Relax. Everybody's going to be okay. And, and, and you know what this is going to do that I love out of everything? It's going to, like Shams just alluded to, it's going to drive revenue up tremendously. And that's what we've always cared about 
and complained about it. as allies of, of these young women in the WNBA. We want them to make as much money as they can, support their families in the best fashion they can. And I feel like with all of this attention, that's helping. So it's healthy, it helps, and, I, and I'm, I'm glad it's happening. You know, sometimes it gotta get ugly to get better. Right now, it's, it's, it's a little ugly, but I think it gets better from here. And also, um, I'm happy for all the women and men. There are a few men that have been covering the sport for a while. Not many, but a lot of women who now finally are like, I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all this was I'll fun. tell you this. Regardless, June 16th, Sunday, 9 yes. a.m., they play again. And no matter what stance, whose side you're on, we you're going to be tuning in. Is it at Indiana? Or is it at? It is. Ooh, it's spicy. It's it 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 fun. That is right. awesome. Let's fly out. Let's go. I, I swear to God, I will go. PJ? <laughs> no, wait. They're too small. Okay.